Hello everyone, welcome to this particular video. <clears throat> In this video, we're going to look at the accent groups and how you can use it uh, within Azure. Now, accent group is really a collection of uh, notification preferences. So, say you want to be notified for Azure overall health problems, okay? So, you can define one accent group and you can say who to be notified how to be notified like using emails or sms or authenticator or some other other form phone calls and who <coughs> mean more than one people group of administrator or one person all of that now once you define an accent group you can use the accent group for uh, for notification of different type of things as well so you can that accent group is becomes like a container and you can use it for multiple different purposes so let's just go uh, this is the document that i want you all to take a quick look at i'm going to put this link to the video uh, that i'm doing right now and it will bring you to this documentation and uh, pretty much each action is made up of the three things name accent type and details okay and we really the place to go is to monitor uh, once you go to monitor you can click on manage actions and there it's going to give you uh, an option to create the action group if you don't have any ma uh, any action group you cannot really uh, create any alert so that's the first thing that you need to create so let's come over here to our portal uh, look for monitor so there we go I got the monitor now so let's see if the interface still looks about the same so we gotta go to alerts <coughs> And if you look at it here, you have a new alert rule, manage alert rules, manage actions. Okay. So if you click on manage actions, so now it's asking you to uh, create the accent group. It looks like I already created one accent group where I have an action for email I have defined. So let's create one more real quick. So accent group name, uh, say lab 303. Uh, action group okay now short name if you click on it it's a short name that is included in the email or SMS so you can have a really big big name over here but if you create a short name I'll just say 303 not for notification or notif okay something like that so when you are sending the email the short name is going to show up in there so you have a scope right in here which uh, what your subscription that you are choosing and resource group default activity logger is to be created so this is I can use existing resource group or a new resource group that is gonna create for us okay let's uh, put it over here and then what what we wanna do is uh, accent name is where you define how you want to name this uh, name this action maybe say email okay and here the accent type is going to be I'm going to choose email okay the email is under here email as your resource manager no email SMS so let's choose that one so once you choose that one you are really configuring all you can configure email SMS push voice message so let's if I do email I can send it to myself okay if I want okay so that uh, if I want SMS I can choose the country code and a phone number if I like as you push notification as your account email we can put that the email you use to log into your Azure account so you can send it to that you can also directly call them and you just have to provide the, the country code and phone number and here enable the common alert schema that one I have not used too much so if you want you can uh, click yes but it says enabling common alert schema might break any existing integration so I'm just gonna keep it as no and hit yes so that action group is now configured to send me email and I have not configured anything else okay you can really send your alerts to logic app a webhook, a secure webhook, uh, you can Azure function and even to an auto automation runbook. So there are so many things that you can do 
uh, with so I have no run book created so, but look at that there is some there is some default run book that you can use uh, as well okay so I'm not gonna do this so let's uh, add accent group let's come back over here so I'm not gonna use this I'm not gonna use this one so get rid of it so this is the only one that I'm I'm configuring right now now hit say okay so now I have two different accent groups and the, as I said these accent groups are reusable so now say go back to alerts uh, new alert rule okay so let's here let's create a new alert rule so filter by subscription I have only one subscription filter by resource type come on so let's see what we can do as soon as it comes up we'll start working on it okay so here uh, what filter by resource type let's compute okay so here I don't see anything for compute so let's uh, what I'm looking for is virtual machine I want a simple V let's see virtual virtual machine okay virtual machines okay what I want to do in here filter filter by location okay so this is resource okay this is the resource that I'm gonna work on that's the resource that I'm gonna work on so here you have chosen a resource now condition what when do you want to send notifications so there are so many things right we can have person CPU network in billable read bytes write bytes okay I just want to say let's look at activity log active restart virtual machine so maybe I want uh, one start virtual machine okay so is there any no data available okay uh, back to signal selection and um activity log is what I need maybe restart virtual machine so I still do not have any data available and that is fine okay so I want to create an alert whenever the activity log has an event the administrative signal of restart virtual machine okay so for this I want to create an alert here no action group is selected so let's go ahead and select our action group that we created for that particular resource so all of that so we can call it Ubuntu restart alert and uh, this is fine enable alert upon creation yes so this you have unsaved edits where are my unsaved edits buddy could just create alert rule okay that one I think got already created so let's see yeah I think this is already been created so let's click over here again uh, go to alerts close this one uh, do a refresh on it manage alert rules let's see that rule got populated properly I don't see that rule yet so let's let's try to add it one more time select resource again here uh, filter by resources uh, virtual machine okay and uh, this is my Ubuntu done again I want to select another conditions again I'm going to select uh, activity log and let's this time I'm going to say uh, restart start I want stop is it a stop no stop just start let's just say start virtual machine I want to I want to do this say okay whenever it's getting started select accent group again I'm gonna do choose this select and uh, Ubuntu start and create the rule 
okay so that's it says already been created but it may take okay so restart is now showing up so everything looks seems to be to be working fine so what I want to do now go to my Ubuntu machine okay in my Ubuntu machine this is not running so I'm going to do a start on it so it's going to start up my virtual machine <coughs> and it says it the alert takes about five minutes so that may not generate any alerts <coughs> excuse me so while it's uh, generating we can go to our email and see if it already did generate anything for us or not so let's quickly go there and uh, Azure I don't see any alert yet so uh, let's see if the machine is running it's still it, it's the machine is still starting we just started so let's give it just a minute and once it's done uh, once it started we'll, we'll restart the machine as well uh, just to make sure that uh, our alerts are being triggered okay we actually got that uh, we got one alert from there uh, as soon as we created the, uh, the alert group uh, Azure sent me one notification it says you you have been added to the Azure monitor action group you are in this 303 no TIF notif action group and will receive notifications sent to this group so everything is seems to be working just fine um, hopefully that's uh, good enough for you to uh, understand what is going on and how to how to create uh, our action groups and how to use it so this is now running and this time I'm gonna restart this real quick <coughs> and I'll go back to my email and I'll do your and what I expect to see is uh, an, a new alert in this group okay so that one is gonna happen as soon as my alert group and right there okay so this is the new alert you just got 148 and it says Azure monitor alert Ubuntu start was activated for Ubuntu you're receiving this notification as a member of this so this alert that uh, the first time we started this is the alert so there is a little bit of gap between your action and the time you're receiving this alert so what I would expect that in a little bit there will be another alert for Ubuntu restart as well all right I think that's all I wanted to cover in this particular uh, video hope you had a, a good understanding how to use this and uh, create your action group and use it and it, this is an important exam topic if you are studying for the AZ-303-304 exam which is expert level as your architect uh, good luck with that and if you like the video please uh, subscribe give me a thumbs up uh, if you have any comments please leave the comments as well for me thank you